Bonjour à toutes et à tous, je suis ravie de vous retrouver pour Libre Ensemble, votre rendez-vous de la laïcité. Ils sont musiciens, chanteurs et ont entre 18 et 30 ans. Leur point commun, ils ont été contraints de quitter l'Ukraine en février dernier suite à l'invasion russe. Mais ils n'ont pas pour autant abandonné leur rêve de musique. Inscrits au Conservatoire de Bruxelles et soutenus par le CCLJ, le Centre communautaire laïque juif David Suskind, ils ont décidé de se rassembler en collectif et de répéter pour faire vivre l'âme de l'Ukraine et faire découvrir leur musique au public belge. Reportage de Nicolas Francom. After the war began, um, I realized that I'm not in safety and uh, I can't do my uh, violin uh, performing, I can't study, I can't do anything because of this situation and um, I made the decision that I want to continue my studying and uh, that's why I'm in Belgium, but in Belgium it's really by chance because it's a lot of kind people around the world now uh, who want to help Ukrainian people, Ukrainian students. And uh, we, uh, we know Tatiana, Samuel and uh, Shirley Loeb, who is uh, teachers in uh, Brussels Conservatory. And uh, they proposed um, uh, us to continue our study in here. Of course, I, I took my violin with me because I wanted to continue my studying like violinists, uh, to perform, uh, to share our music. Uh, so that's why <laughs> I yeah, took right it part. with me. Uh, it's cello. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, people from our group um, arrived to Brussels, like me by chance, or I don't know <laughs> how it happened, but we met, uh, we all met here, and uh, we decided to make um, the group, and uh, all people in this group are Ukrainians, Ukrainian students, violinists, singers, pianists, uh, yeah, so we decided to make this group to play Ukrainian music, to share it uh, with people. <laughs> Une amie du CCLJ qui travaille au conservatoire euh, euh, nous a contacté pour nous dire d'abord dans un premier temps est-ce que vous seriez disposé à mettre l'audito qui est cette belle salle à disposition de ces musiciens et de ces musiciennes pour qu'ils puissent simplement continuer leur pratique et avoir cette perspective là de se dire qu'ils peuvent se raccrocher à leur pratique musicale et on a évidemment accepté tout de suite et puis de fil en aiguille un peu comme ça ça s'est mis on a eu l'idée du concert et on s'est dit que, que voilà il y avait quand même beaucoup de messages positifs à faire passer à travers l'art à travers la musique et puis qu'il y avait aussi quelque chose de très concret de permettre à ces musiciens, à ces musiciennes de, ben, de vivre de leur, de leur travail, de leur pratique. Un concert avec des personnes qui sont ici réfugiées en Belgique dans des conditions particulières, c'est une organisation beaucoup plus compliquée, beaucoup plus, je vais dire, sujet euh, à, à du dernière minute ou de l'ajustement, à de l'adaptation. La, euh, et, et en réalité, ces musiciens et ces musiciennes, en ce moment même, elles sont en train, ils et elles sont en train de passer des examens euh, pour une partie online euh, directement vers le conservatoire de Kiev. Thank <laughs> you. 
By this event, we show that Ukrainian uh, potential is still alive, that we have something to say whenever we are. All of us speak in Ukrainian language. This kind of, this, the main thing connects us. And we have kind of similar stories before. Uh, we have similar background. And uh, now we connected to spread what we know and what we would like to know. All, yes, we are students and we should study, continue our studies. But for this uh, point, it's not just a coincidence that we are together and playing together, I think. When I come, uh, it was very difficult to me, my, my uh, psychologist mood. Uh, I uh, was work one, one month uh, with a free psychologist support because I feel like depression, you know, because I come alone and I don't, don't see reason for like life. But after with this band, with conservatory, with good teachers, with some uh, neighbors in my ho home, uh, I try to find new, new reason to my life, you know. Our band, it's really good support to each other. You know, I mean moral, mental support. People who come in our concert, uh, they can put money in special box because uh, usually it's like entry libre, they can come to free. But if someone wants, they can put one, two euro, how, how much uh, they want, you know. And after uh, this money, our organizer uh, sent uh, in some volunteer centers, you know. For uh, not, not um, because for our band, um, very important to support uh, shelter, you know. Uh, no, yeah, I mean, because a country uh, also need money for military things, for soldier, uh, but uh, now we have also more shelter with uh, small child, children, which lose parents, you know, and they need uh, money for food, for everything. So um, we try to do best what we can, you know. But uh, I know it's not, it's not like uh, millions <laughs> euro. It's uh, something maybe not big, but um, we know it's uh, it's also support. <laughs> With our band, we hear firstly for um, again re uh, repeat uh, this opinion in Ukraine war. Please support Ukraine, please support Ukrainian people. Uh, because for us, uh, for all of us, it's very important for now, you know. We need uh, to share and popularize uh, Ukrainian music, Ukrainian culture, uh, our nation, you know. Uh, it's very important for all of us. That's why we make uh, this concert, because um, we want um, to popularize and introduce what we can and um, how beautiful are uh, our um, culture, you know. Pour nous, euh, je vais dire, c'est dans l'habitude de notre centre euh, de tendre la main à l'autre, parce que dans notre histoire, nous, euh, peuple juif, on a été, euh, on a eu un certain vécu, on a un certain bagage, et on a été l'autre des autres. On a euh, été réfugié, on a été exclu, on a souffert d'énormément de, de discrimination, de difficultés. On a traversé des temps durs, et donc ça nous semble tout à fait normal de se dire qu'aujourd'hui, quand nous maintenant, on est en, en en bonne posture, eh c'est à nous de tendre la main à l'autre.
So I think um, our uh, our group and what we're doing, it's, uh, it's really important. And I hope people who will come, they firstly will enjoy, and, uh, enjoy uh, music and after they will uh, understand and think how they can support. Because uh, it's not only for money, it's also for psychology support, for some uh, volunteer help, you know. I think it's it's good idea to share this, and these people can to help. And secondly, they can make for yourself good karma. Faire vivre et populariser la musique ukrainienne, c'est donc l'objectif de ces jeunes musiciens. Un message d'espoir et d'apaisement en ces temps difficiles. Merci de nous avoir suivis et à très bientôt pour un nouveau rendez-vous de la laïcité.